What's up, YouTube? My name is Dell, and this is Dell on Movies. Welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for hanging out with me again. And today is going to be episode two of Watch These Movies. This is where I just give you guys some recommendations on some some movies that uh, I don't see recommended a lot. So, and I think they're underseen, and I think they'll be well worth your time to uh, to check out. So, I'm not going to spend too much time. Uh, chit chatting i'll just get right into it and the first movie is uh, like i said i always try to give something for everybody the first movie is the spiderwick chronicles now this one is a nickelodeon movie and nickelodeon doesn't have the greatest track record with their movies but this one was uh, i found this one to be really good uh it's elements of fantasy in there and it's really tense for the younger ones if you if they're not quite ready for horror, but do like a little tension in their movies. Spiderwick Chronicles is a great one. We got a lot of little uh, creatures in there, uh, and they really get the adrenaline pumping. So Spiderwick Chronicles is a really good movie for for the those young ones who want a little more uh, than what we get out of regular Disney movies. A little more tension, a little more closer to horror, but not quite horror. Uh, the Spiderwick Chronicles is a really good one. The next movie is Run Lola Run. Now Run Lola Run is not for the for the younger ones and this is also it's a German language movie. Um, the star you might recognize from the first Born movie to Born Identity. She was with Matt Damon so that was one of her English speaking roles. Franca Patenti, I hope I'm not messing up her name. Uh, Franca Patenti is her, is, is her name, her actual name in the movie. Of course she plays uh, Rola, Lola and Lola her, gets a call from her boyfriend. He, he happens to work for the mob and he's lost a bunch of money from that, uh, lost a bunch of his boss's money. And his boss has told him he had to get the money in 20 minutes or he was gonna kill him. And then Lola springs into action trying to figure out how to get this money in over the next 20 minutes. And we follow her do this uh, actually several times through the movie we follow her trying to figure out in different um, different variations on the story uh, but it's really good really exciting movie you may have heard of it before because it is a popular movie um, among people who do like foreign language movies uh, but if you have not seen it or even if you haven't heard of it this is one where I would say go ahead and give this a look as, as soon as you can run Lola run is the name of this movie uh, after that we have uh, I, well before I pull up the movie one thing you need to know about me is I am uh, very much into superhero movies uh, I have tons of them in my collection and yep I realized today is my first video without my collection behind me it's over in the next room but I have lots of superhero movies in my collection uh, and mostly from Marvel and DC because they've made the most movies so that makes the most sense uh, but even ones that are not made by them, I really like those also. This is one of those, and people who've seen it aren't always sure that it is even a superhero movie. But this one is Fast Color, uh, starring M. I always mess up her name, that's why I'm going to say, uh, take a look at it really quickly. Gugu Mbatha Raw, uh, she was, she's been in a, a few movies since she always gives a great performance. In this movie, she has some special powers. She's on the run from the authorities who are trying to get her and control those powers. And the movie goes from there. It's, it's pretty slow paced, so I, I will prepare you for that. It's not a... It's definitely not an MCU movie. It's not a no, not one of the DC movies. It's not really whiz bang and a lot of that. It's a low budget superhero movie. It takes its time getting to the point, but when it gets there, it really packs a punch. Uh, I would say this is a superhero movie for people who don't really like superhero movies. So because uh, so it's, it's way more of a drama than it is you know, than it is anything that you associate with the term superhero movies. So Fast Color is that the third recommendation for this week's episode. And next we're going to go in a horror direction. I know we mentioned the Spiderwick Chronicles and we talked about uh, that's close to horror for, for the little ones. This movie is full-blown horror, but it is also uh, a little more artsy uh, than a lot of the uh, a lot of horror movies. It's not one where it just 
somebody's chasing down a bunch of teenagers and cutting them up though i love those movies i'm a big slasher movie guy also this one is not that this is definitely on the artsy side it's even in black and white i saw it on netflix a few years back uh i loved it and then happened to come across it in dollar tree of all places one day uh and that is the eyes of my mother so this movie there honestly there's not a whole ton of dialogue in it there's definitely dialogue in it don't get me wrong but it, it's not a movie that is it, also it seems like it's a slower pace also so it's a pretty short movie uh, i want to say this is around 90 minutes or so long but what we have here we have this young lady here on the cover uh she's raised by her uh well her parents she's raised on this secluded farm uh, mom was once a surgeon and kind of teaches her the uh, how to be a surgeon pretty much she teaches her all about anatomy and how to use the knives and scalpels and and basically kind of desensitizes her towards death and there are some other things missing from her life and that causes causes uh, things to spiral out of control as the movie goes on it's is a this is a really really good horror movie uh, it's not one that's gonna have you like jumping not a lot of jump scares not a lot of that kind of thing not gonna be popcorns gonna be throwing out but it will disturb you it's definitely a disturbing type of horror movie and a lot of times those are the best kinds of horror movies the one that kind of uh, get under your skin a little bit and last for a few days with you you have to you just keep thinking about him you think about the situation and then how terrible it is this is one of those movies the eyes of my mother lastly we're going to come back off the horror a little bit and we're going to go with the movie that is a murder mystery and for for me this is one of the best murder mysteries uh I, i've always i've ever seen uh it's always not necessarily that you can or can't guess who the killer is though it's pretty tough if you've never seen it before it's uh it's pretty tough guess on who the killer is but the performances in here are so good it was oscar nominated uh back when it came out in the 80s but since then it's been largely forgotten by a lot of people uh even among uh it's a it's a black movie even among black film fans it's uh overlooked and not one that's talked about when you hear about classic black movies but it should be and that movie is a soldier's story uh howard rollins here who he was uh the star of the tv show version of the heat of the in the heat of the night he was the tv the the star of that uh he is the main character here he's a lawyer in the in the military during world war ii and a uh, a sergeant who a sergeant has been murdered and he's here to investigate they sent the black lawyer because it involved a black sergeant and uh black soldiers possibly um or possibly some white soldiers on the base also uh and uh, being the era that it was of course the white soldiers the, the white officers don't take kindly to him being there but he vows to investigate the crime no matter what and no matter who he uh takes his rank seriously uh, and he, he had claims authority but the, the bulk of it is him investigating the murder of this sergeant. And we get to know the sergeant. The sergeant is not liked by a lot of people. So there are definitely lots and lots of uh, lots and lots of um, people who could be responsible for his murder. Um, that sergeant is played by Adolf Caesar. I believe he was Oscar, name it, Oscar nominated for his performance. He gives a fantastic performance. He's great just right from the beginning of the movie till the end. So a lot of all of his scenes, of course, are told in flashbacks since he's already dead. That's a not really a spoiler. You still have to see the movie to understand, um, to have any understanding of what's going on uh, beyond what I've already told you. Uh, just... Uh, young Denzel Washington is also in this movie and of course he's great because he's always great but this is him you know 30 plus years ago uh, when he was a very young man uh, so it's one of his earlier movies he doesn't get top billing in the movie but he does have a pretty big part in it and if you are into murder mysteries this is a movie that you should definitely check out um, I don't think, as for my collective friends here, this is on DVD. I don't think it has a Blu-ray release, but I haven't looked it up. So if I'm wrong, let me know. 
and because this is a movie I would definitely love to upgrade because it, it is uh, one of my favorite mysteries of all time. Again, that's a soldier story. This movie, all of these movies, if you get a chance, uh, check them out. Let me know how you like them. Uh, so, of course, do the YouTube thing. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, start a conversation down below. Let me know how you like these movies. Uh, if you don't like them, let me know. Cause, uh, I'm, I'm curious to your opinion one way or the other. Let's just be civil down in the comment section. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.